discussed before you can stop paying tuition now tuition is free for you hey guys you're welcome to my youtube channel today if you are new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming my name is Posinola and i live in sweden and i film about sweden in general work life in sweden studies everything about sweden and all that good stuff yeah so um if you are looking forward to coming to sweden or europe in general then this video is for you <laughs> and if you're join, joining me for the first time please do subscribe and if you're my subscriber thank you so much i do not take this for granted thank you guys and please don't forget to like this video so today i'm going to be talking about studying and also working in sweden i'm going to be talking about different things that i've listed down here and so without further ado let's just jump right into it so um the first thing i'm going to be talking about today is because i've always get this question is it possible to work to pay your tuition in sweden like is it possible for you to work and then get your tuition out of the work you're doing in sweden and that's a very very complicated question because it depends because in sweden tuition fee is not the same for everyone for some their tuition fee is 40,000 sec for some it's 90,000 sec per semester like semester i'm talking about semester not like the total sum of your tuition throughout your master's or maybe bachelor's so it depends for example um if um if you're working because as student most times you get like maybe newspaper jobs cleaning jobs except those who are it tech you know that you can easily get an it um job you know let's just talk about like the most common jobs for students i, I mean students can get all that professional job but the most common ones are delivery work and uh, food delivery um meals delivery paper newspaper delivery cleaning job you know a lot of snow clearing you know there are a lot of you know this work now let me cite an example for example if you are working with um paper delivery if you work well in your first year because before you can move into sweden as a student you have to pay your first semester tuition that that's what they call the first instrumental tuition now for your second instrumental tuition your work might not like the work you get when you come to into sweden because sometimes when you get into sweden you don't quickly get all these jobs except if you already have your network who is ready to help people people who don't even know anyone it takes time Sometimes it can be three months before you get something doing. But for some, they are so lucky and they get things immediately they come. But if you get a job immediately just you come, it will be hard for you to raise your tuition fee, like the second instrumental tuition fee. It's it sometimes is really hard to raise that tuition because <laughs> before you work, you you pay for tax and the, the tax is uh, in Sweden. I think for my municipality we pay like. 32 percent of our of our um salary for taxes so if you remove those taxes you will pay for house rent you know the service might not be enough for you to pay for your tuition however if you're like a family then it's easier maybe your dependent can be working and then bring that one you know when you join it together it might be up to something for you but it's always advisable that when you are coming into sweden at least have your first year like two instrumental payments ready so that you don't fall into into um, into stress i've also discussed about that with one of my friends on this channel you can look for the video it's uh, where we talked about re resident permits in sweden you can check that video we there's a lot of information on that video so let's move on to the next question the next question okay not a question but a tip and another thing about studying and working in sweden is if you're a student and you came in with your dependent now if your dependent want to study just like you then your dependent do not have to pay tuition education is free for them so that's the free tip that i wanted to add so if you have dependent coming into sweden you don't they don't if they want to further their studies they can easily apply for their study that is if they have personal number if you don't have a personal number i don't think that is possible but if you have a personal number then your dependent can 
study for free you don't have to pay tuition for them so you just pay just your own tuition so that's it um and then somebody asked he said how easy it is it to juggle work with studies like how is it like is it easy to work and then study in sweden <sighs> one thing about sweden is sweden is not like other countries that say students will work 40 hours in a week but for sweden they left it open like you can work as much as you can as long as it does not like affect your studies but yeah it is even though they don't put it the way this education is structured you, you you will still like study like those hours will still be complete because you will just see yourself lagging behind so yeah it's not that easy to mix work with studies in sweden especially if you work during the day oh my it's almost almost impossible like it's almost impossible the best job for students is maybe evening and night jobs because your presence are needed in school during the day and sometimes they have a lot of seminars that are mandatory most times in fact every week the way they structured it most week most department they do seminars every week where they will assign you to go and read to go and read literatures so it's almost like it's stressful you can't it's not possible it's not impossible but it's so stressful so the best thing for students is when they get like evening job and the night work yes that one is easy so it's easy when you work in that hour but if it's from in the day they expect you to be in school or they expect you to study during the day so that's just it but then some people has like they've grown like thick skin they can always juggle it but it's not easy okay yeah um then the, i think the last question for today i have like series of um videos that i will be doing but for this video the next one is opportunity to convert to work permit and stop paying tuition yeah i think this is another information another thing about sweden is um you can if you're a student if you come into sweden you can um after like after you've had like 30 credit as out of today it might change tomorrow but as out of today after you have like your 30 credits you and you get a job who gives you work permit like work contract that can initiate work permit if you don't understand what i said i've done a video before about the difference of this work permit and the um, work you know work contracts are different so if you don't know the difference you can find my, my video i think i okay i'll check the title and put it in in um on this video yeah so you can check the difference between the work permit that i mean so if you get a job as a student that is willing to give you like that work permit that i've discussed before you can stop paying tuition now tuition is free for you so um even though it might be hard but it happens so once you get a job that who is willing to give you work permit after you have your 30 credits then you can you will stop paying tuition because now you are not entitled to pay tuition fee anymore that's just the law that's just the law okay yeah um and this is where i will stop for today expect more videos um so if you're watching me this time you've not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and then set the notification bell so that by the time i upload new videos you can always get notified yeah and this way i will cut <laughs> this is how we do the cutting for today. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Baby, you